Hi, I'm Hope from the Denver Public Library, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do the loop start to your cross stitching. The loop start is a really cool technique that you can use to secure your stitches without having to tie any knots, because I hate knots. And it's a very useful technique if you're going to be separating out the six strands. You can kind of see that the floss comes in six strands. Um, it's a useful technique if you're going to be separating out strands of your floss anyway. Now, why would you want to separate the strands of your floss? It depends on what count of Ada cloth you are using. You can see in this little chart that um, depending if you want to use one strand, two strands to have a more kind of cross stitchy looking cross stitch, or if you want to have a fuller cross stitch, depending on which count that you're using. Um, and you can see that the 18, for instance, even if you want a full stitch, you're going to have to separate out your floss anyway. So, in order to do this, we're going to separate our floss to turn it into a loop. Um, we're going to be using an 11 count cloth, so while 11 count can take all six strands, the loop stitch wants us to separate out. So, half of six is three, so I will separate out three strands. And you might, if you're using a, a longer than uh, longer strand of embroidery floss than this, you might want to have some tension on this end, but this isn't a very big piece of floss. So we've got our, our separated floss, and we're going to take the two ends, and we're going to fold them together so that we've got the ends and we've got a loop. So next what we're going to do is we're going to take our needle and needle threader the needle thread through the eye of the needle and then this is important that you do the end of the loop not the loop itself the loop we want to have farther away from the needle so just like if you were going to thread a needle without separating out your floss take it thread the needle and then you can see here that we've got the end and the loop Look something like that. Um, so the next part of this video I'm going to show you how to actually secure the stitch. So you can see that the loop is on the far end of the needle and we're going to start just like last time from the back of the fabric. Stay our first stitch is there and we're not going to pull all the way through. We're going to leave about that much at the back and I like my stitches to go that direction. So then we come around to the back and all you're going to do is stitch through the loop. You're going to catch it in the needle, sew through and pull tight and that fully secures your stitch. And that is it. That is the loop start. It is that easy. Uh, so I hope you try it and if you do let us know how it goes and happy stitching. <laughs>